Hey guys, I thought I'd try a different kind of video than my normal hauls. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to work here shortly, so I figured I'd film as I was getting ready and just kind of talk to you guys. Um, you can see some of my Superman stuff. I've talked about my Superman collection. And someday when I get the other side of this room cleaned up, because it's a disaster, um, <clears throat> then I can probably do like a room tour or whatever. So, so anyway, I'm just going to start getting ready so I'm going to be doing my makeup and whatnot so um anyway I, I work a really short shift today at Ulta but of course you know gotta look presentable so you can really see the the purple and the how it faded into the pink but I really like how it ended up so I just got it redone so I like it I know it's not everybody's cup of tea but whatever so, um, first I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Potion Primer. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow primer. Um, the other one that I really like, and I do have the, the regular one too, I like any of the Urban Decay ones. I also really have been liking the Smashbox 24 uh, uh, Hour Photo Finish Primer. Um, it's a little bit drier, so... <clears throat> If I feel like my eyelids are extra um, oily, I will tend to use that. But that was just a sample size. I mean, it's a pretty good sample size, though. So. Again, I just put that all over my eyes and underneath, too, because sometimes I uh, put some eyeshadow underneath there and kind of smoke that out. So, and then for my face primer... Um, because my skin is really oily, um, this is a sample size also, but I did just purchase the full size of this. Um, I've been using the Cora's uh, Mattifying Primer, it's the Pomegranate Face Primer. So I've been using this, and I've been using the Becca Ever Matte. This one's weird, but I think I like it. Like, it's kind of, it's extra mattifying. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one today. Now, if you've never used this one before... Um, the main thing is it's very, very, very thick when it comes out. So what you have to do is actually put it on your finger or in your hands and then kind of emulsify it before you put it on your skin because the minute it touches your skin, your face, um, it is super, super mattifying. Like you can even feel it whenever you're putting it on, just, you know, sucking up all the oil. So it is weird. I bought that a while, uh, a while back. And I didn't think I liked it, so I returned it to Sephora. And uh, and I usually just, with that mattifying, I just kind of do my T-zone, because that's where I'm really oily. And that's where I tend to lose um, most of my foundation throughout the day, because, I mean, I get super oily. Super oily. Um, and then, let's see. There's so much crap. Um, I am going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of the professional just to fill some of my pores. This is the mega size from uh, the holiday time. So, <clears throat> and I don't use a ton of this. I just kind of hit like my nose, my cheeks and stuff like that. So, so, so anyway, yeah, like I said, I just have a really short shift today, but our, um, our district manager is supposed to be there and we've undergone a lot of changes at my store I don't know if I I can't remember if I talked about it or not but right now we don't have a store manager she's no longer with the company I don't really know what happened they just I came in one day and they're like she's no longer with us so whatever but we do have two assistant managers um, the way that Alta works is they have a GM which is the store manager and then they have a manager of operations, and they have a people's manager. So, like, the one who's over all the employees and stuff like that. And, um, sorry, deciding which foundation I want. I think I'm going to go with the Maybelline Fit Me. I've been really liking this lately. This is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and I'm in 125 Nude Beige. I actually just ordered this in one shade darker because I mowed the grass the other day, and I feel like my my face got a little bit darker but anyway 
So there's the GM, and then there's two assistant managers, and then there's the uh, merchandising service coordinator, the MSC, who is someone who can, is also considered a manager, um, but doesn't normally close the store. Um, she'll open the store, but she basically comes in and she does the truck and task and stuff like that. Um, well, our operations manager was on vacation last week, so we were literally running with really one assistant manager and then the MSC, so we had um, some managers, and I just dot this all over. Um, we had some assistant managers coming from different stores, and you know, that causes an issue because every store runs differently, so we're all learning, and our um, operations manager is actually brand new. She got hired, like, the week before our, our GM left. So, um, this is the EcoTools uh, domed bronzer. Um, I had seen learning to, to, learning to Be Fearless had used this, and so I decided to try it. I really like it, but what I do is I take some kind of spray. Um, I switch between, this is the Urban Decay B6, the matte by NYX, the matte setting spray, um, the Urban Decay All Nighter, and there it is. Like, where's my Mario Badescu? And then my Mario Badescu um, facial spray. I just spray my brush with one of those because they all act as kind of like a uh, primer or a setting spray and whatever. I forgot that I had stuff on my nose. Luckily, I didn't. So, sorry, I have an eyelash. So, anyway. So I really like this combination. So anyway, it's just been kind of a trying week at the store, week and a half or so. Um, because again, we have managers coming in from different stores and things run differently depending on where you're at. I mean, one manager is from a smaller town and she said that they don't have the foot traffic we do. And I mean, I'm not from a huge town or anything. I mean, so... But we're in a mall, so we obviously have a lot more foot traffic than, um, than, you know, like a strip mall in another small college town. And again, I just kind of buff that all over. I do have a beauty blender. I got this free with my birch box. Um, and then I have the, uh, Real Technique one. Honestly, I don't love it. I know that, you know, so many people do. I'm just a brush person and I, you know, I tell people when they come into Alta all the time, they ask if you have to use a brush. I mean, you don't have to use a brush, absolutely not, but I use a brush for pretty much everything. So I like brushes. So anyway, um, and then I'm going to contour. So I've been using the, um, the Alta contour kit. Again, this, I got a lot of mixed reviews online. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I have the Kat Von D one, but I got it as a kit when Sephora did their, like, mega bonus point thing. Like, if you had a lot of points. And I'm just, I just kind of tap between the golden bronzer and the goddess bronzer, the two darkest ones. Um, and then, again, I just, you know, buff, buff, buff. Um, so I've been, but I've been kind of holding off on the Kat Von D one just because, you know, it's kind of like a limited edition set and I don't want to use it if I don't have to, so... And then I take some of the bombshell bronzer and I just kind of go around my hairline a little bit. I have this one piece of hair that I don't know if you guys can see. You can see it. Like, I got... It's annoying. Anyway, and then I go back and forth between those dark ones just to kind of contour my double chin. Again, I just... So anyway, so our operations manager is back. Um, but today the, we have an acting GM from another store, so she's going to be there today, and, um, the district manager is supposed to be there today, so, obviously, I want to look as nice as I can, so, anyway, so done with that, um, so yeah, so it's just been trying, I mean, and, and we've got a lot of new people. And the thing is, is that they're not trained, but the way that we've been told now that we're supposed to do, sorry, looking in my blush drawer, you know, decisions, um, 
think I'm going to use one of my hourglass ones. I don't use these enough and I really do like them. So I'm going to use um, diffused heat. So it just kind of looks like that. Um, and then this is just a, a, a Sonia Kashuk. It came in a set. It's just a blush brush. Um, so anyway. Um, we have an acting GM. But the, the way that they tell us to do the scheduling now is to let the computer decide. Well, the problem is, you know, the computer doesn't know who is a task person who just puts out truck and, and does stock and stuff like that versus a beauty advisor or a prestige beauty advisor like I am. And um, so it keeps scheduling our brand new people that aren't trained, aren't register trained to be on register and getting like 20 some odd hours a week when people who have been there like I have been there and then there's a couple girls that have been there since the store opened two years ago so um next I'm just going to take the NYC smooth skin you can see I got this on clearance for 74 cents it's just a uh, setting powder um again learning to be fearless had mentioned this one this air spun I can't I can't get past the smell um it smells like grandma and so I have it and I mean if worst case scenario I would use it but I just this one doesn't have a smell I think it does pretty much the same thing so and this is just um, the brush I'm using it's from a, the Christmas real technique set and it's completely worn off so I have no idea but it just kind of looks like that I don't really use like a big fluffy powder brush I just kind of you know dab and whatnot but I always go over where I did my bronzer and my blush because sometimes I get a little heavy handed and, you know, blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. But I just do my whole face. And then I go in a little bit under my contour just to um, kind of cook it. Who came up with that one? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway. So just kind of do that. Set everything. I do my highlight as like my last step, so I mean I know everybody's different in the in the order that they do stuff. So there's that. Okay, so now four eyes. What do I want to do? Well, I guess since it comes out tomorrow, hopefully I'll get this up tonight. I'm gonna use the new Naked Smoky palette. Um, I love the package on this compared to the other ones. I mean, I have all of them. I know everybody's seen this. There's a million YouTube videos. I mean, I'm not overly wowed with this. Um, I mean, I have all the other naked palettes and I have their old, um, I'm not going to get out, but they had an old smoky palette. Um, I personally like those better. I mean, th these are pretty, don't get me wrong, but. So, I'm going to take, and I'm very bad about not cleaning my brushes, so I blow on them, but since I'm the only one using them, I know it's not sanitary, but it's my germs and I'm putting it back on my face, so. Obviously, I don't do that at Ulta. We clean brushes, but I, this is the e.l.f. Um, blending eye brush. I have some, you know, I have a bunch of different kinds of eye brushes. I mean, most of them are just cheapo brands. Um, you know, I've got some, uh, I've got some It Cosmetics ones, but I don't know. I think this just works just as well. So I'm going to go and do a little bit of whiskey and combust. Whiskey is a little bit too bark, dark, bark. Um, it's a little bit too dark, but I'm going to do kind of like a combination of, the, of those two so that I get, you know, kind of an in-between shade. And then I'm just going to do that in my crease. Now that light is washing me out, but if I don't have it, I don't think that'll... Oh, man, that was bright. Okay. Uh -huh. I guess that works a little bit better for you guys. I can still see, so we're good. So anyway, just kind of rock that in my socket. I heard Mally say that one time on QVC and I stole it. Rock it in your socket. Nope, wrong color. 
what happens when you don't have your contacts in and you don't have your glasses on and you can't see. No, I'm not that blind. Again, I know that's unsanitary, but whatever. So then, here, I'll do this. I should just clean them. I've got, I literally have four bottles of the Ulta brush cleaner sitting over here. But I never remember to bring like paper towels or something in here, so I can't use it. So anyway, um, now I'm going to take High, which is the first shade. Again, I'm trying not to blind you guys, but it's kind of like a champagne-y color. I'm just going to take that. This is the e.l.f. It's just called the eyeshadow brush, so it's the flat one. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I know everybody's different on what order they go in. Um, I watch Tara Loves Mac all the time, so she's kind of the inspiration for me doing one of these because I just finished watching one of her Get Ready With Me's the other day, from the other day, and uh, yeah. Okay, now this brush is extremely dirty. This brush, if you want to do like a smoky eye, this brush by Sonia Kashuk is a godsend. Like. I've got two of them. Where's my other one? I don't know. I have so many brushes. I'm starting to finally kind of organize my shit because um, it's just, it's ridiculous. Well, anyway, I have another one of these, but it came in the kit that that uh, blush brush came in. But this, I don't have a number. It, it's the number 205. It's a duo fiber, and it's got this slant. Seriously, all you do, you just go at an angle, and then you buff over. Boom. Smoky eye. So, um, I think I'm going to go with kind of a purple. So, smolder in here is the... Um, purple shade in this palette so I'm gonna get some of that again I'm just going kind of at an angle so like that and then and if you can hear that my cat wants in the room every time I'm in here it's like guys peppers you peppers I always know which one it is too so anyway just so it looks kind of like that. And I'll blend that more here in a minute, but. Again, you know, you just take it over. And obviously this one has more, so I need to do some more. Um, so anyway, I know I keep saying I'm going to talk about stuff and then. So school starts back for us teachers have to be back on August 10th so only got like four weeks of summer left and that sucks so there's that so far <sighs> sorry for all you germaphobes <sighs> okay so then what I do Done with the smoky palette for now. These are all my color pop shadows. So let's see. You don't have to do this. I mean, you don't have to do anything that I'm doing, but so I'm gonna take the color I heart this, and I'm basically gonna go over. Ah! Did you enjoy that? Did you enjoy that fall? You fallen for me. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you're trying to make shift. I don't have like a stand. I'm filming on my phone just so I can see what's going on. My hair looks really pink. Peppers. You peppers. Peppers. Anyway, my hair looks really pink in the viewfinder, but or the screen, but. Oh, I already got it out. Okay, so let me sit that down. So I'm just going to basically... Oh my gosh! 
And I'm sorry because I don't edit, so that's all going to be in there. Hmm. Wonder if I could put you guys up here. I'm not a professional. Have you noticed? Hey, that kind of works. So we'll see. Anyway. So again, this is Color Pops. I heart this. And I'm just going to take this on my finger and just kind of pat over where I did the light. I mean, where I didn't put the dark shade. So you can see just a little bit of a difference. And then I just kind of blend things with my finger. That cat, he really wants in here. And same thing on this eye. So yeah, so anyway, so, so school's going to start here in about four weeks. Less than four weeks, three weeks. This was the shortest summer ever for us. We're, we're, I really believe that we are headed towards a, what they call a balanced calendar, which means we would go all year. We'd have shorter breaks in between, but like we wouldn't have as long of a summer, but we would get more breaks, if that makes any sense. Um, this is just a, another one of the real techniques from Christmas. This is the base shadow brush, but I'm going to use it to just kind of blend a little bit. So it's not quite as harsh. Um, so like we get a week off at Thanksgiving now and, um, yeah. and I am going to go back in with the naked, uh, smoky palette and I'm going to take 13, which is this matte cream shadow. And I'm going to take it on that same one I was just blending with and just blend that to blend out that top. Um, but anyway, so we get like a week's vacation at Thanksgiving. And then of course we get all kinds of days. We get President's Day. We get uh, Martin Luther King Day. We get, of course, Veterans Day. I mean, so, but anyway, so just taking that, and like I said, just kind of blending out the top. And I know this one looks darker for some reason in the viewfinder, but in my mirror, it doesn't. So we'll see. Still going to blend it a little bit more. And part of it is I don't have my um, my light on, so it might look different. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that purple smolder color and go back over this one a little bit. Just to see if I can... Okay, so it looks like that so far. It's going to be a long video, but if you've been with me for a while, all my videos are long. I got a shit ton of stuff to haul, too. It's all down there on the floor. So, Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows. This is the Ilamasca um, Eyebrow Cake. It's in Vehement. This is so old. But literally, this is eyebrow stuff. And look at how much they give you. And I know this is black. I've used this forever. Like, you can see, like, I have no eyebrows. And I like a bold brow, so. But I I go light-handed with this. So, this is the Stila. I don't know what the actual name of this is. It's the Stila double-ended eyeshadow brush. It's kind of like the Anastasia one. Um, but it's got a little, you can see that. It's got a little chunk out, so. Again, just go into that and I just follow my natural um, my natural brow I don't really go too crazy or anything but I mean look at look look at the difference no brow brow and again I'm gonna try to turn this light back on for a minute see how it's really bright on me I know but I gotta see if I'm if I look even. Yeah. So let me do this brow and then I'll I look like an angel. Sorry, I I am just in a really weird mood. So and then again I just take the spoolie and just kinda I mean, I don't want man brows by any means, but, I mean, 
turn this back off. But like I said, I mean, you can see now I actually have brows, and I really need to get mine. Oh, that was better. Anyway, so there's that. So now, let's see, what do I want to do for an eyeliner? Um, I use a lot of shadow liners. This, um, let's see, where am I? I got one that is my absolute favorite thing to use for eyeliner. It's disappeared. It's because if you could see this desk, and you probably got a view when it tumbled. Um, like I said, I've got, I went and bought the Alex drawer systems. I've had them for a while. I just, I'm trying to get things organized so that when I build them, I can just bring them right in. So this is a really old um, NARS palette. It's just NARS eyeshadow palette. But I'm sure you can get this color. It's this one down here. And it's called Night Flight. Um, and it's just a really dark, dark, dark black. It's dark blue, but it has like a black tint. So um, this is an old uh, Tarte brush. It used to have something on this other end, and I don't remember, but it broke off. But it just kind of looks like this. And what I like to do is use this for my eyeliner. I don't have an issue, and I pull in my eye, and again, I know that these things are things you shouldn't do, but they work for me, so... But anyway, um, and I just take that and run along the top lash line. Um, and I'm going to have, I have a little bit of fallout, so let's take the Statue of Liberty brush. This is my Cosmetics Giant brush, which didn't do much. This is the, I don't know what it's called. If you go to Ulta, it's the biggest freaking brush in the entire world ever. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. Probably not important. So, I don't know. I don't know. I started using powder shadow as my eyeliner a long time ago, and I just really like how it turns out. I feel like it's not quite as harsh on me as um, as a pencil liner. I have a really hard time using um, black eyeliner. Um, on me it looks really harsh. Now I am gonna, uh, here in a second, I'm going to line my inner waterline with black. That does okay, but if I do black eyeliner, a lot of times it comes off as just very harsh with my with my skin tone and no. So there's where we are. Got this bump on my nose. Anyway. Hope you guys are sticking with me. We're at twenty eight minutes. Tara, you're right. My makeup only usually takes me like ten minutes, but because I'm talking. Anyway, I am going to, like I said, line my waterline. So I'm just taking a Q-tip, getting anything off my waterline. And then, for me, this is the best um, liner for my inner rim. This is the Too Faced Perfect Black. They sell this at Ulta, Sephora, whatever. Um, for me, it actually stays on. Um, the My favorite one, which has been discontinued completely. Sorry, I'm knocking stuff on the floor. Um, is the Bourjois Paris <laughs> Waterproof. I have like this one and another one. So I, don't, I try not to use that one very much. Because it's my absolute favorite, but, yeah, everything I like, they discontinue. So, then I'm going to do the top a little bit. I hate doing the top. Oh, it tickles so bad. Oh, it hurts. So 
Anyway, I went shopping up in Indy uh, day before yesterday and got caught in a freaking monsoon. Like, it down poured. There's no joke. Um, okay, so I'm going to do mascara. I usually do two. Um, but I don't know why my other one's at it. I got all kinds of stuff on here. Okay, well, we're just going to do one unless I find the other one after I do this. Um, and Tara, again, I know if you watch this, um, I know you hate the Perversion. Perversion by Urban Decay is my favorite mascara. So it just, I mean, again, everybody's different, and that's what I tell guests that come into Ulta. It's like, you know, it's my favorite, it, and, oh, because I was looking for it. Uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Now, this is just a sample size, but I got it, and then I got a whole bunch more sample sizes. I do have a full-size one of these in my drawer. I also have, like, eight backups of the perversion, because I love this mascara. So, but I like the two together. I also really like the, um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator. It's the skinnier tube, but it's in the other room, so I'm not going to go in there. So, anyway... So I'm going to go in with Better Than Sex first. You know, I think it's funny that these companies have these kind of names, and yet Kat Von D is the one that's getting in trouble for names of her products. Like, she had one, she had a lipstick called Celebutard. And of course, I understand where people are coming from on that one, because, I mean, the word retard should never be used in life. But her point on that was, we're making stupid people famous. Like, hello, Paris Hilton, Britney Spears. And I'm sorry if you like those people. But let's face it, I could not sit in a room and have an intelligent conversation with those people. You know? I mean, that's why I have, I have a pretty eclectic taste. Um... In music and movies and actors and things like that, but I love when celebrities are. Of course, they have to be nice because you know. Um, and I talked about Gavin DeGraw in one of my former videos when I met him, and I still love him. But um, there's that so far. But. If I can have an intelligent conversation, John Mayer, so intelligent. And I know a lot of, I may get some backlash for this, but I love Marilyn Manson. Um, the fact is, he is a, and now I'm going in with my perversion. He is freaking intelligent as all get out. My brother has actually, um gone out and had drinks and stuff with him and he used to live across the street from the video store he'd go into and he talked to him all the time and see that that just intrigues me I mean while I'm not a huge Lady Gaga fan I think she's in the same realm I think she's intelligent and I think that you know the flamboyancy that Marilyn Manson and, and Lady Gaga um, put out there I agree with what Lady Gaga had said one time she said you know I do this because then maybe people will leave my personal life alone and I agree with that. I mean, you know, let people date who they want to date. You know, and I can't imagine, um, I can't imagine being a celebrity and not being able to leave my house. Or being in my house and have somebody break in for that matter. So. You know. Anyway. Um. So she had one called Slubby Tard, and then she had another one called Underage Red, and so people immediately assumed that she was talking about, like, you know, child pornography type thing. It's like, really, people? Because that's what Kat Von D sits around all day doing is, you know, ooh, I'm going to say this, you know, whatever. But, uh, I'm going to go in, this is a Real Techniques a accent brush, and I'm going back into the Naked palette, and I'm going to go into Smolder and just kind of run that under my bottom lash line. Um, 
But I just think it's funny because Urban Decay has perversion. Two Face has better than sex. Urban Decay had one called DTF in one of their um, palettes, which look it up. It's it's not appropriate. I mean, and I don't care. I mean, I am you know, I am all for freedom of speech. I am all for you know pushing the envelope, shall we say? But. I just think it's funny that, you know, they go after Kat Von D for things. And yet. So that's what my. Okay, so we got lips and highlight. Let's do highlight. Um, I have a drawer full of highlighters. Um, the newest ones I've gotten. Got on the bandwagon with a couple. Um, so... Sorry, I gotta find it. I got the um, Jaclyn Hill uh, highlighter. So if you have, if you haven't seen it, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I don't think I'm gonna use it today because I've got more like a purpley shades going on, you know, except for my blush, which I used red, but it turned out fine. Um, Ulta Online has started carrying Makeup Revolution. And Makeup Revolution has these highlighters. They're the baked highlighter powders. And there's three of them. Where did the third one go? There it is. Um, they actually came out with a palette of these. Now, if you buy these from the site, it's a UK company. They have a palette of these, which is very it's supposed to be like a dupe for the Hourglass ones. These were on like $6.99 at Ulta, though. Because if you buy them over, you know, from overseas, then they cost more. But they have uh, three in this. So this is the Peach Lights. This one is the Golden Lights. And then this one is the Radiant Lights. So I'm going to go in with Radiant Lights. Um, and I just take... This is a Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. Whatever. I never use them for what they say they're supposed to be. And I just, you know, I love a lot of highlight. I want to look like a disco ball. And I just take it along my cheekbones. And then I do take a little bit under my brows. Boom. Trying to break shit. If you guys stick with me through this video, God love you. You're probably like me, and you've got it on in the background while you're actually looking at other sites. So, okay, before I do my lips, I'm going to go ahead and do the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Something you get in your mouth. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the color pops. Let's see which one do I want. worn that one a couple times. So let's see. How about we go with this one? This one's called Drive-In. Now, I guess I should have mentioned the whole time I've been doing this, I've had you know, my EOS I had the, I don't know, one for my car or whatever. Um, these can be drawing, but it's a liquid lipstick. So I know a bunch of people are bitching about it exfoliate, put on a lip balm, put this on. And then what I've been doing, because let me tell you something, these L'Oreal ones are no joke either. This shit doesn't come off. Um, but this has the balm that goes with it. So I've actually been putting that over the top of it. Now again, if you don't have that, just take like a lip gloss and just kind of dab it on. So these do dry very fast. So you do have to work with some quickness. So I am going to turn my light back on because I don't want to screw up my my lips. And I won't be talking, obviously. So.
And I don't use a, a lip liner most of the time. Once in a while I will. And again, I'm going to turn this off so you can see a little better. But again, that was, uh, that was drive in. So, so that's it. Let me pick you up. Now I'll turn this back on and see if that helps. See, I just glow like an angel. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm such a weirdo. You can hate me. It's fine. But you can kind of see how my... Let's see if I do that. But I just like how my eyes pop whenever I do like a purple kind of smoky. Oops. Kind of matches my hair. Gotta be honest. Stand up. Sorry, I keep. Let me see my highlight. It's on fleek. I said that to somebody in the store the other day because somebody stole some eyebrow stuff, and I'm like, it's because they wanted their brows on fleek. Anyway, guys, if you've stuck with me through this, I love you. I love you forever. But, I don't know. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Like I said, I gotta... Don't judge me. Like, do you see all this crap? That's all stuff that I bought. It's bad, guys. Anyway. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon.